Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this face cutout slash morphing sort of effect in After Effects. It's very easy to create and you can use it for documentary style editing or whatever you want. So let's see how to create this. So for this type of example, you need some portraits. So I just downloaded them from Pexels. If you have your own portraits, then you can use them or you can just download them from where you wherever you want just make sure that all of these images have one thing in common like for example i am picking all the faces that are looking towards the camera so you can use all of them which has this uh, straight facing pose like this just download a bunch of them and just import them in after effects and you are ready to go here i have imported all of them in after effects and let's begin so first i'm gonna create a new composition let's call this one main width and height will be 19 20 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want just click on ok now we are going to drag one of these images so i'm going to use this image which will act as a base image because it has a very nice background and we have a subject as well so let me just quickly scale this down and just pick a position where you want to place this so let's place it somewhere around here let me just quickly make this little bit bigger and yeah, i think this looks good perfect so once you're done with this we are ready to drag and drop these images so let me just pick one of these so i'm gonna pick this one let's place it over here and i'm gonna scale this quite a bit now there is one thing that you can do let's press t and let's lower down its opacity and you can align these wherever you want so for example we can align the eyes of both of these images so i'm gonna just scale this down and let's roughly align this you don't have to be precise you can also press r to rotate these and maybe we need we have to make this little bit bigger so i think now these are perfectly aligned so once you're done with this let's press t again and let's increase this to 100 percent now we can use the shape tool and let's select this so that it, we will create a mask and now you can click and drag to create a mask something like that so here you can see we have cut out only the eyes now in the same way you can pick other image so let's pick this one and let's drag it over here so over here we have the second image again let's scale this down and i'm gonna press t to lower down its opacity now we can roughly align it wherever we want so you can see that we have this very nice hat over here and let me just select the selection tool and we can just place it on top of this girl something like that so let's just select this press t for opacity let's crank this up now i'm gonna just roughly select this hat like this and you don't have to be precise because more choppy this looks the better it will feel and let's pick some place like this perfect so yeah here you can see we have this hat now let's pick the other image which is this one let's drag it over here now you can hide the other images as well let's select this press s to scale this down and again over here we have this very nice here at the top which we can use so let me just quickly select the pen tool and let's just grab it and let's just place it somewhere around here and if i press t let's increase the opacity and just roughly align it so that it matches our subject so i think this looks good perfect now let's pick this other image let's drag it over here and let's scale this down and from this one we can probably take out the face or the lips uh, let's place it where we have our original image and let's press s to scale this up to match the size uh, it's quite big so let's press s and just scale this down something like that now let's select the shape tool and let's just cut it out and place it over here again press t to make this visible perfect so here you can see we are able to see the elements and in the same way you can just keep on dragging these images and just cut out whatever part you feel like that will go with the image and after that we are ready to add the effect all right so right now i have cut out all the parts which i want so here you can see we have all of them and if i just solo them one by one you can see that we have cut out a bunch of different parts which we can use for our base image like this so after that we are ready to add some effects to this so first thing is that i want little bit of stroke so let me just quickly solo one of these layers let's pick this one so on this one i'm going to apply stroke and let's drag it over here and i'm going to solo this one as well just to see the stroke so over here i'm going to increase the stroke amount let's say five 
perfect and after that i'm going to apply drop shadows let's drag it over here as well and let's increase the softness and i'm gonna increase the distance as well to something like that so here you can see we have this very nice outline let me just quickly align it with the face so i think this looks perfect so once you're done with this we can just apply this effect to all of these images so just simply copy these two effects and after that just select all of these images and just press ctrl v to paste it so before we continue if you enjoy my content and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only for patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue so here you can see now we have added the effect to all of these cutouts and we are ready to just align them so for alignment i am going to select all of these layers and let's just move them a little bit ahead and let's pick this one so i'm gonna just keep it for a couple of frames so let's say 15 frames and after that we can just trim this out and we'll, meanwhile we can just pick the second layer and let's just make it appear so here you can see we will have this sort of effect and just randomly keep on adding these layers and just make them shorter or longer however you want just depending upon your sense and let me just quickly place it over here so if i press this you can see that we have added these four images and these are appearing one by one and let me just quickly trim this out and we can probably have this appear somewhere around here so just do it randomly and just place them however you want so now i have randomly placed them so if i press play you can see that we have a bunch of these images coming up but you can see that it is not moving a lot so we can what we can do is we can just simply select all of them and let's duplicate them by pressing ctrl d now let's place them on top of each other and i'm going to quickly change their color to orange and let's just offset them and just place them somewhere around here like this and you can just randomly move them here and there to create a little bit of variation to this as well now if you have more images then it will look much better otherwise you will have some repeating patterns but it is fine for this example here you can see we are able to see some effect and there's one more thing that you can do you can add a null object so layer new let's add a null object and after that you can parent all of these layers so let's select all of them and just parent them to this null object now we can select this press s and let's add a keyframe for scale in the beginning now let's move somewhere around here and we can just have a little bit of scaling animation like this so that it's not static and we have all of these faces or the cutouts coming up like that now once you're done with this we are ready to add some texture to this so it's actually quite easy to add the texture i'm going to use this paper texture which i downloaded from unsplash and also i'm going to use this video texture which i downloaded from pexels and i'll put a link in the description from where you can download both of these and once you're done with this just import them in after effects like this and you are ready to go so first i'm going to select the paper texture which we have over here and i'm going to drag it over here and let me just quickly press s to scale this down and we can probably press r and let's set this to 90 and let's rotate this up and let's press s to scale this up to something like that perfect now we can pre-compose this right click pre-compose and let's move all attribute to the composition and let's call this paper just click on ok now we can get inside this comp and now i'm going to quickly zoom in and let's move to somewhere around five frames after that just simply select this layer press ctrl shift d to spread this layer now you can press r and i'm going to just rotate it by 180 degree so which is 270 degree and we are basically adding some variation to this so let's press ctrl shift d to spread this now i'm going to quickly zoom it in and let's place it over here and again let's move like five frames ctrl shift and let's move it to somewhere around here let's again move five frames press ctrl shift t and let's just place it to somewhere around here just keep on doing this until you have a little bit of variation you can probably zoom in a little bit more and let's have this end over here like this so once you're happy with this we can probably select this and just delete the end part now we can select this endpoint and we can just drag it over here now you can right click and just trim comb to work area 
So now if I press play, you can see we have this moving paper texture like that. Now we can go back to the main composition and over here we want this to repeat like throughout this and for that we can just simply select this right click and go to time enable time remapping. Now you can hold on the alt key and just click on the stopwatch. After that just type out this expression loop out like this. Now you can probably move this further ahead and here you can see we have this looping out animation and it will go on for very long and there are a couple of things that you can do let's apply curves to this and let's drag it over here and you can play around with its intensity to have like a little bit of these areas after that we can change its blending mode from normal to overlay or soft light whatever you think looks good and you can play around with these to have more of these paper texture now this is completely up to you however you want so for example we are getting this paper texture now we can do the same thing with this video effect as well let me just quickly drag this up and for this we can just set this to screen or lighten let's set this to screen and now if i press play you can see we are able to see this very nice texture on top of it you can probably duplicate this and just place it over here like that now let me just quickly duplicate these bunch of different times and let me just quickly arrange these so that it will look nice so now i have arranged these like evenly and i have created bunch of different copies of it now if i press play you can see we have created this sort of effect like this and you can see we have these coming up very nicely so this is how you can create these kind of paper cutting sort of face morphing effect in after effects and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Bye.